Hi guys, it's Yay for Yarn, and this is lesson three of the Learn to Knit series. And this lesson, I'm going to show you how to work the knit stitch. Now, I have already cast on 14 stitches, as you can see in the previous video. And please, when you start your first row of knit stitches, do not get frustrated because the very first row when you're working into this cast on is harder than when you're working into all the rest of the rows after that. So if the first row is a little bit hard for you, please don't give up because that's the hardest row, the very first one. So when you have your needle right here with the stitches cast on on it, you're going to put this needle in your left hand. You're going to take the empty needle and put it in your right hand. Now, you're going to have to have a way to hold the yarn, to tension it so that you don't have um, super uneven stitches. And your stitches will probably be a little bit uneven when you start, but with practice that will improve and become a lot more even. So there are two ways, two general ways to hold the yarn. Some people, like me, continental knitters, hold the yarn in the left hand. Some people, they call this English style, hold the yarn in the right hand. I prefer continental because it is faster, but either way, whatever works for you, both ways are technically correct. It's just kind of personal preference what you want to do. But what we're doing here is running the yarn through our fingers so that it always goes behind the ring finger and behind the index finger. And it goes over the top of the other two when you are holding your hand palm up. And the idea is to get this index finger to have the yarn coming over the top of it. Now for me, I need to wrap my yarn around the pinky twice when I knit English style because I'm not real comfortable with it. And I need more tension because that's not my natural way of knitting. But I'm going to show you that way anyway. To work the knit stitch, English style is just the same concept as working at continental style. You're just using your other hand to wrap the yarn. Now one thing I want to mention here is that for crochet or for a lot of other things, writing, whatever, there is a left-handed way to do it and a right-handed way to do it. That is not the case with knitting because since you're holding a needle in each hand, it's the same for both lefties and righties. It's just whichever hand you hold the yarn in is personal preference. And, you know, even if you're left-handed, you can still hold the yarn in your right hand, or vice versa. So, you know, whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever works the best for you. So first I'm going to show you the English style, which holds the yarn in the right hand. And as you can see, I have all these loops on my needle. So I'm going to take the tip of my right-hand needle. I'm going to actually scoot the stitches on the left-hand needle closer to the tip. I'm going to insert the tip of my right hand needle into that first loop of yarn and I want it to come behind the other one. I want the right hand needle to come behind the left hand needle and have the tip sticking out through that same loop of yarn. Now I'm going to take the yarns coming over the top of my index finger in my right hand and wrap it counterclockwise around the tip of not both needles, but just the one in the back, which is the right hand needle. Then I'm going to slide the tip of that needle down just a bit. And please bear with me here because this is not comfortable to use my right hand. And you're going to pull that loop out of this loop that's on your left needle. Now once you've pulled it out and you have a new loop here, as you can see here, I can adjust that loop by pulling on the yarn. I'm going to, if you can see right here, this loop 
that this stitch, this new stitch is coming out of, that was the old stitch, is going to go off the tip of the left hand needle. So I'll show you again. We're going to insert the needle tip into the front part of the stitch. We're not going to the back right here. Going in the front part from front to back. And I have two needle tips sticking out of that stitch. The right hand tip should be in the back and the left hand tip should be in the front. For the English method, again, I'm going to bring the yarn in my right hand counterclockwise around just the back needle, which is the right hand needle. I'm going to bring my needle tip through that loop with that strand of yarn on it, slide it forward a little bit so it doesn't fall off, and slip the old stitch that is coming out of that off of the left hand needle. Also, when you are using the knit stitch, I forgot to mention this, you're always going to keep your yarn in the back. You're keeping your yarn behind the pair of needles. In the purl stitch, you're going to keep it in front of, but in the knit stitch, which we're learning right now, it stays in the back. So continental style, which is what I prefer and much easier for me, and faster by the way, continental style holds the yarn in the left hand. So it's the same concept. I'm going to take my needle tip of the right hand needle, insert it into the stitch on the left hand needle from front to back. I'm going to bring the yarn counterclockwise around the tip of that back right hand needle, which for me I like to use my middle finger to push that yarn around counterclockwise the tip of that needle. And then after I pull it through, I'm going to slide it off. Maybe you didn't catch that. I'm going to do it again. Insert the needle tip, the right hand needle tip, into the first stitch on the left hand needle from front to back. Bring the yarn in your left hand counterclockwise around the tip of the right hand needle, which should be in the back. Now I'm going to bring the tip of my right hand needle through, back through, from back to front, the loop on the left hand needle which creates a new stitch, and I'm going to pop the old stitch off the tip of the left hand needle. And you're going to keep doing this all the way across the row. Now, this yarn is very good for this, but you're going to have to make sure that you do not get frustrated on the first row because it is going to take a little bit of practice to go into the first row even easily. And even now, I've been knitting for five years, and I still go much slower when I'm knitting into my cast on. And there's my last stitch. So, I've already knit one row now. I've gone all the way across. So since all of the stitches are now on my right hand needle, I'm going to switch and put the right hand needle in my left hand. This, the one with all the stitches on it goes in the left hand, and again the empty one goes in your right hand. And I'm going to do this again, and I will show you one more time English style. But we're going to insert the needle tip into the first stitch from front to back, wrap the yarn around counterclockwise, pull through from back to front and slip the old stitch off of the left hand needle. Again, and again, and again, and again. And you can replay this as many times as you want until you get it right and you feel comfortable with this stitch because this is one of the most important stitches that you will ever learn. And yes, it does take some practice to get used to it, but it is definitely worth the time spent to learn it. I'm going to do it again English style. Again, insert needle from front to back into that first stitch. Wrap the yarn around counterclockwise and pull through from back to front. And pop the old stitch off of the left hand needle. Front to back. Wrap it around oops, counterclockwise. Pull through from back to front and pop the old stitch off of the needle. 
and just keep doing this all the way across. You're wanna you're gonna wanna work several rows of knitted stitches because you want to get the hang of this before you move on to the next stitch. So even though it's not going to be perfect, this is your first try and that's okay. You're you're definitely gonna want to work this for several rows before you skip to the next um, the next lesson. So I've knit a second row now. And please forgive all the noise, my needle ends are banging on the table. But there's the second row. And if I keep doing this, knitting every single row, then I'm going to get a texture we call garter stitch. And I'm gonna actually do that so you can see what garter stitch looks like. All right, so this is a few rows of garter stitch. And you're going to need to work several rows of the knit stitch so that you can see what it looks like and make sure it looks kind of like this. Garter stitch is basically squiggly ridges of texture here. And this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, if this is your first time trying this out, then it, it might be crooked or uneven or loose or tight or whatever. That's okay. It will definitely improve with practice. But the main thing is that you get the motions down and you feel comfortable holding the needles and holding the yarn and doing this a, like a bunch of times in a row, making the same stitch a hundred times. That needs to be comfortable for you so that you have enough confidence and enough practice to move on and try to conquer more difficult things in your knitting.